How's it going guys? Welcome back to Blue Shift and welcome back to Rewrite, where we are investigating the creepy old house behind the school story that's actually in a creepy house. So I have no idea what to expect here other than the fact that it's already been really fun and had some good shenanigans to the point where I didn't want to jump into it too late into the last video so we can just really immerse ourselves in everything that's going on here. So thank you so much for joining me. Hope you are enjoying. Some of you, someone's, some, some people have been a little critical about the fact that Kotori has been in the thumbnail of almost every video of this series, but I ask you, name a character who hasn't been the more enjoyable one on the screen thus far. I've highlighted almost everybody I can in thumbnails, where a thumbnail would be appropriate and make a lot of fun, make a lot of sense, but in every episode we've done, Kotori's has been the best, so why can't I do anything else? Regardless of that, and I'm sure there's a lot of potential, like, hey, that's, that's, you're talking, you're, you're dissing the fact that my wife, who's haven't been pre uh, presenting much in your videos, is like, well, you know, deal with it. Anyway, <laughs> let's play and see what's going on down here and just kind of what's going to, I imagine it's just mostly going to be a fun adventure of just like goofiness as usual. Because uh, yeah, like there's like a serious side of things that tends to happen and a goofy side. I think we're in a goofy side story right now. So let's just enjoy ourselves um, exploring the house and see what nonsense happens. So let's get started, shall we? All right, so that looks like it's the one. You see the arrow pointing at that one being like the critical one. So let's look at all these other ones. This is, I've got no idea where they keep appearing everywhere, but this is a porn mag. Seek me and I shall manifest. <laughs> must be the guardian, must be the guidance of Erohim, the deity that all pubescent boys worship deep within their hearts. E Erohim, so, okay, so that's a play off of like the traditional Jewish name for like, God, Elohim, it's Elohim. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> Being too obvious would be dangerous in this group, so I'll just take a little peek. This is a 9 out of 10. Thank you, Elohim, for leading me to this boon. Are you saying I should take it with me? If the girls find out, it might result in the collapse of our club. I'll give up for now. No, take it! Uh <laughs> Crunch. Elohim! <laughs> Elohim's no longer here. God is dead. <laughs> yeah, it's a room full of dust. This is a pistol? Oh, wait, it's just a model gun. That actually would have been terrifying. Let's try shooting it. Nothing happened. Hmm, there's something coming out of the muzzle. Squirm. Oh, gosh. Is that a centipede? Saw nothing, I saw nothing, I saw nothing. <laughs> this is... Uh, hmm? Interesting. We need someone with exorcist powers immediately! Huh? Oh, okay. It's a western bathroom. There doesn't seem to be any running water here, but it doesn't stink either. That's a relief. There's a hole in the ceiling. Looks like one of the planks fell off. Do I have to check it out? Yes. I guess I do. I've got nothing but toilet to step on. Huh? Crack. Oh no. Ah, the toilet's cracked! Help! The toilet is Roger, I'll block it with this. I can protect the toilet for I can protect the toilet now. That won't help me in the present situation! Crash. Cleaning tables won't, st won't stop the toilet from crumbling apart. Rotten desks and chairs are scattered around the room. I feel like they'd fall apart in the moment I touch them. So let's touch them. Jihaya, try sitting on the chair over there. Then I shall sit in it. Ah! I did it again! No one got it. Guess I lack impact. I'll make it collapse in a more impactful way this time. I'll jump on the chair and start dancing on it. Snap, i a snap! <laughs> Still isn't enough. Must make them laugh! Alright, I gotta moonwalk the stupid chair. Who's the smooth girl? Are you? Adi? Adi? Yeah! Pow. Gah! Uh, my efforts aren't appreciated, but at least I had a good time. I broke all the chairs already. Just a bunch of rubble. Nothing in particular stands out. That said, there's no way this all could have naturally fallen apart. It must have been the work of some fool with too much energy to spare. Hmm. I wonder who that could be like. It smells. From the size, I guess it's a car. It's a cat excrement. I wonder if there's one living here. 
And if there's a cat, there must be a source of food too. Better keep the secret from the girls. Why? That there's a cat here? This room. I can see the stairs through the window, but I can't open the door. A pile of building materials is blocking it. We don't find anything of significance so far. Guess this is our last hope. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if we could move the concrete blocks, we could open it, but... Chihaya lifts the concrete block and locks and lowers the wife at the door. She's just a... She's an animal. Okay, let's see what's beyond the door. We ascend to the second floor. The floor doesn't look very steady here. Yeah, especially you, Chihaya. A class pack. Oh no! <laughs> Her head is peeking for a hole in the floor. <laughs> oh, enough of that. So, head's literally stuck in the ground. What's that? Why is it all squiggly like that? That's weird. It looks even worse than the first floor. Guess nobody can access the second floor because of the rubble in front of the door, though. You can see my footprints in the dust. Wish I'd brought a mask. Flap, flap, flap. What does that sound? Ah, more active in the evening. I guess it makes sense for the sun to live here. その人形の黒い粒。ああ。ああ。何かついているが、なんだ。コウモリの。え。やるな。You're <笑> I like the commentary. <laughs> okay. A, rip, uh, a ripple of weaker planks off the windows uh, off the windows makes it easier to get uh, it to the roof. Okay, okay, so that's the roof slide. So, okay, that's what that is. I'm right above the wide area of the first floor. I wonder if there's anything interesting around here. There's a plastic container lying on the floor. Let's see what's inside. There's some papers and other junk inside. Hmm. This looks like an ancient occult magazine. I guess whoever lived here was uh, into that kind of stuff. Oh, it has a contribution corner from the Katsumatsuri Academy while it was still an all-girls school. You've received clue number six, something moving in the lab. This is from ages ago, so I don't know if I can still use it, but it might be super rare clue nonetheless. Cool. Now, I'm trying to decide where, like which one it's identifying. It's dark on the first floor. This is a whole other level. All the windows are boarded up, so no light reaches here. The doll and the anthropomorph of an anthropomorphic animal lying on the floor. It has some sort of mechanism inside, but it's broken. Gross. Kotori, do you know what this mechanism is? Yeah, I can't make it out too well in the dark either. Chihaya, could you use the Chihaya flash to light up our surroundings real quick? Click. What are you doing? You got a felt. You got a bellow. Chihaya flash from the bottom of your lungs at the time like this. I had a good look at the mechanism thanks to Chihaya's flash, but unfortunately, I couldn't really figure it out. All right. Oh, I guess that's time to leave. Oh no, we got this. This is more graffiti. I'll die. F I'll I'll die. You. My fear vanished in a single moment. When I came up these stairs, let's use them to get all the way back. Well, I mean, I've, I've done everything here, haven't I? Guess it's time to go. The investigation has reached its end, more or less. I managed to take quite a few scary looking pictures. Dolls and mannequins lying scattered around the dimly lit rubble. This must have been an office building or something. The sight of once inhabited places riding away into nothingness is quite an impact. It really does, actually. でも、I mean, kinda. 
写真が撮れたなら帰ろう。Oh, is the lady perhaps scared? 怖いのかいこ怖くはないが、あんまりこんなところに長居したくない。Lucy is carrying a few pair of dirty gloves she changed out over the course of our excursion. Well, this place was pretty dirty after all. Okay, let's leave. はーい。Still a fun adventure nonetheless. The light outside is dazzling, even in the shade of the trees. ご苦労様。Oh, hi. Huh? Grez. Akane stands in front of the entrance with her secretary behind her back. 来てたなら中入ってきてくださいよ。嫌だからこうしているんじゃない。Yeah, yeah. でも、少し中を見てみたくはあるわね。Yeah, you could go look. Akane gestures her secretary and later hands her a stack of papers. この建物、確かに曰く付きのものよ。50年以上も前からここにあるようね。Ah, so you looked it up for us. もともとは、静止出版関係の工場だったようね。立地条件は最悪。また創業10年もせずに、親会社の経営が破綻。A printing company. また同時に、この工場の劣悪な労働環境が問題になり、それが元で経営していた一家は心中。A family unalive themselves? A whole family? れ、劣悪な労働環境って祭壇機の事故が多発していたようね。Oh, splatter. 今では考えられないでしょうけど、昔はそういう品質の悪い機械っていうのは平気で存在していたのよ。Dang. で、後に別の企業が土地を買い取り、その後は倉庫として扱われていたようね。それも潰れて工場は解体、今に至ると。This building almost feels cursed. 今残っているこれは、事務所扱いのプレハブね。解体する費用すらなく、現在も残っているのでしょうけれど。ここの森一帯を調べれば、工場の痕跡なんかも見つかるのではないかしら。Okay, so this is part of like a, a small portion of what was a factory. So the factory must have been much, much larger. I see. 本当に廃墟なんですね。解体もされずに残っている建築物なんて、どこの山にもあるものよ。And it doesn't take long for greenery to overgrow them in these parts. The demolition crew couldn't do much when the building got swallowed by the forest. There are no roads that could transport large scale equipment leading here. De, you lay sagi da keredo. Gain to more kotogara mo. Coco. Huh? What is it? Coco dewa ne. Gangu kanke no zaiko nado ga yamazumi ni natte ita ra shi no. I guess we did a little bit. Naka ni sore ra shi mo no anaka ta kashira. Tosko ni. Ningyo nanka ga koroga te ita go. She did a six year head. What's that? Fukuro no botan o osto. Varai goi ga suru joke goods yo. A laughing bag. Is that supposed to be like a whoopee cushion? Sore o dobuts no ningyo ni o yo shita mono no seizo o shirok to shite ita no ga, koko no saigo no mochi no shine. Ah, I'm starting to see the picture. Nan desu? I mean, we found, lot、oh, sorry. we found lots of weird th- things inside, right? And Press is basically saying that they are here because of the ghost stories. How long can these laughing bags function? So, well, the there used to be plushies that laugh or cry when you shook them. And I imagine that's exactly what this place was filled with. We saw traces of animals inside, so I wouldn't be surprised if some bit, through,、uh, some bit through the packaging and got out the toys. They were too trashed to let out their voices now, though. Anyway, those inexplicable voices became a rumor and ended up with a ghost location on our hands.、Yeah. We solved this in a single afternoon. There was not a sliver of the occult in any of this. I, she's really got a good point here. Like, just because we don't find actual occult stuff doesn't mean that the Occult Research Society can't publish an interesting article. Yeah, I guess so. For now, we decide to leave. I think, I'll think about the article once I get back. Ah, <sighs> but Prez, I dress Akane on our way back. Nani? Why would someone build a factory in the middle of nowhere like that? Kazabatsuri was a small village before this whole greenery business started, right? It doesn't make sense to build a factory so far from civilization. And the same applies to the warehouse. They must have paid a fortune for the shipping costs. So, ne. 
。そんなことまではわからないわ。そんなことにも頭がいかない経営陣だったから、潰れてなくなっているのではなくて。I guess I would explain it. It's just kind of odd to imagine somebody being that, like, inept if it comes to just general practice to even have the money to actually start a business to begin with. I guess they could have inherited it. But at the same time, like, it just seems, it does seem really odd. I still feel like there's more to it, but it's just the feeling. I won't be able to turn this into an article at this rate. Well, I could weave my suspicion, my, my suspicion, weave my suspicions into the text. I have more of an effect if I leave out a little open ended. Oh gosh, I was loud. Rumors of mysterious structure in town, ghost location clear. Halloween. Of course, it's Akade's picture that comes up for all Halloween. Not that Halloween's going to mean much here, but yeah, you know, it's a thing. Oh, hello. All large forests possess unknown depths that are barely traversed by human feet. Tall, thick trees, faint sun filtering through the foliage, moss covered rocks, moist ground. The, world, the word nature has a rich and gentle ring to it. However, that impression doesn't last long once you set foot into it. It might be rich, but gentleness disappears with your first mosquito bite. In reality, nature is muddy, dark, chilly, and packed with cold blooded cruelty. It's used, it uses every opportunity to attack you. Forests always hunger for nutri nutrition, and few things fulfill that purpose better than cadavers. So that's a bleak way of thinking about it. That's the fate it、uh, wishes upon all who wander inside. Still, they're usually not quick to, quick to betray their intent. That way, poor lost souls can be drawn ever deeper inside. That more or less is the feeling one gets when stranded in the midst of true nature. A familiar forest gives fewer reasons to be afraid, but you never know when you'll step on a large venomous snake. As such, I came alone. I checked the Mappy app after walking for a bit. I've been running connection checks,、uh, connection checks from the help menu repeatedly to make sure it's working properly. After the third successful test, I let out a sigh of relief. I brought a map and a compass in case of the worst, too. I didn't forget food rations and water either. So he's really like on, like, he's really trying to prep for the next time he gets sucked into that weird place. I never got three packages of chocolates. For, I've even got three packages of chocolates for emergency use. That said, the phone still is my main lifeline. I can hardly help myself in most situations as long as I have it by my side. Even packed an extra battery. Okay, seems like I've reached point A. Yep, I reconfirmed it on the map too. I crack the glow stick and press it into the ground. While waiting for the chemical reaction to do its job, I take a sip of water. Turn my gaze about 30 centimeters to the side and notice the traces of something being pulled further into the woods. Most likely something that slithered out of the stream and into the forest. What should I even call it? A big snake? Or the offspring of a dinosaur? I have no idea what it was. It's just a beast of the forest. The Monster Investigation Unit.、It、sounds pretty fake when I try to vocalize it. But well, it's part of the Occult Research Society, I suppose. The glow stick begins emanating dull light. I resume moving. Interesting. Interesting. He's like making this an actual excursion. The slithering trail ends, and a stream is blocking my path. No more than two meters wide, but there's no trail on the other side. Whatever creature it is, change directions here, either going downstream or against the flow. I'm not sure what to do. For starters, I place a glow stick at the end of the trail. I have to choose a direction. The further I walk downstream, the more it'll widen. It'll eventually turn into a proper river. Would the beast really go upstream if the flow is this strong, though? I have no way of following this trail underwater. I only decided to sacrifice my Sunday chasing this thing because I found this trail to begin with. My investigations are always running into walls. If my friends were here, I'd probably give up. But alone, I have a much harder time letting things like this go. Okay. Guess I worried myself over nothing. I picked up the trail again. It winds its way out of the stream over there. Looks like the beast went upstream a bit before returning to solid ground. The trail continues deeper into the forest, into the darkness, into even tougher terrain. I can't turn back now. No, you can, but we're not going to. Moving forward is going to take some courage. I didn't realize how scary it is to challenge unfettered nature by yourself. I drank the remainder of my plastic bottle's contents. Then I refilled the water from the stream. That's risky. Check Mappy again, as well as my food rations. My flashlight's working fine, too. Guess I can still continue. Not even noon yet. 
The light, lighting is as dim as the late evening inside the thick forest, but it's still bright as day outside, according to my phone. It feels kind of unnerving. I continue tracking the beast. Yeah, so like, if you're gonna drink water in the wild, flowing water is safer than stagnant water. So like, it's like flowing water from a stream is safer than that from a pond. A lake water would be safer than that from a pond, although not much better because it's still relatively stationary. Um, but the trouble is that even flowing water could easily be contaminated. All you need is something to defecate in a, uh, somewhere upstream or, or a corpse of some kind, like a dead animal or a dead person or whatever, to be laying in the water upstream, and then you're contaminated. But stagnant water is a lot more likely to have those types of things because they'll stick around longer and the water doesn't go anywhere. Ideally, you'd always boil your water before you drink it. Like, so if I were in a situation like his, where he's trying to just be really careful, so he drinks the rest of his good water, right? Which is fine. Like, it's actually almost better, like, if you've got the room to stomach it, it's almost better just to drink all your water, like, quickly than saving it. Because there have actually been people who have died of heat stroke in the, uh, trapped in the desert who still had water on them because they were concerned that they, like, wanted to save it for an emergency. Not really kind of thinking that they are in an emergency. And your body's pretty good at holding on to water when it needs to. The downside, like, you might worry you would sweat it out. That's because the sweating is what's keeping you from dying. Anyway, uh, the other thing is about... So what I would do is I would I would drink the potable water I know I have, refill the water bottle for an emergency, but then not drink it unless I really had to. I would wait as long as I could just to kind of offset the chance of getting something like dysentery. All right, the stream grows narrow until it eventually disappears into a marsh-like area. Ugh. This is getting dangerous. It doesn't look like a swamp, but there's no telling where a deep pit might be hiding underneath the pools of water. Worst case, it might cost me my life. I can't continue like this. Guess I got no choice but to go back. Mmm. Feel the presence of something powerful. It's also nostalgic for some reason. Is it Chibi Moth? Gotta be impossible. I'm inside a mysterious forest far from human civilization. The presence is coming from somewhere ahead of me. Hold my breath. And slowly sneak towards it. Yeah! Yeah! -ha! What is that? Sounds like an animal noise. Is some kind of bird monster? Or is it a wild dog? In any case, it sounds pretty dangerous, judging by the voice. My body tenses up. Might end up having to fight whatever it is. Forest is no place for a human being. I continue on steal stealing my heart. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds even spookier from up close. It's beyond the tree. Yee. Cha. Dealing myself with the shock of whatever the beast might take, I take would be, I take a peek around the tree. Yeah. Yes. Yes, it's Yoshino. <laughs> Yoshino doing martial arts training in the middle of the forest. You got to be kidding me. No, <laughs> you the confusion turns to anger as I lash out at Yoshino. Hey, 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 hey. And we immediately go full kung fu at each other. We force each other forward to backwards, refusing to give up ground. I slip on an unfamiliar terrain. Oh, so it really is you, Yoshino? Sorry, I got confused there for a second. Depends on how confused we're talking. That's just how surprised I was by this turn of events. Uh, but why? I'm not clicking the button. It's like, it's sympathetically seeing like, it, it's, it's being weird. Like this, this, what? Maybe I'm crazy, but this like program just seems to have a mind of its own half the time. What were you doing here? Training? <laughs> Yoshino exercises his right to silence. I check around. A tied log is dangling from a tree. Isn't that one of those things you see in a manga? Oh, so so. I also spot a worn wooden dummy by the trees. This one looks like something from an old kung fu movie. There's no way that works. Which century are you from, Jackie Chan? <laughs> I really want to talk, but this place is dangerous. Like, seriously. Can't you train in a gym or something? 
Is that what he's trying to do here? Even I'm stunned by that. Hey, uh, you wouldn't happen to be training here just to defeat me. True. True? Okay, what? It's not me. I don't know who this true guy is, but that's a relief. What? What's that supposed to mean? Oh, I see. True is in truth, like the truth of the truth about you. I was just about to ask my heart. Oh, I wash my hands all the time. My favorite is blueberry, by the way. True, eh? Well, now that's quite a cool new name you came up for me. It's re the real me. After all is said and done, Yoshino is indeed quite tough. He's got a sharp intuition. This is starting to become an actual problem. I'd love nothing more than for you to fight on equal footing. No, not at all. Don't bully me too much. That's a misunderstanding on your part. Stop trying to turn me into an arrogant asshole in your head. Just don't want things to get out of hand and destroy my peaceful everyday life, okay? Does he think that's what I want? Screw that. He runs out of words. He tries to open his mouth again, but he can't respond. He makes a few more attempts before giving up and facing away from me. Go home. It's dangerous out here. I mean, if that wood log crashes into you and breaks something, you won't even be able to get into a hospital. This guy sounds like his brain stuck in puberty. Yoshino, we're second years in high school already. I'm serious, this is dangerous. There might be monsters here. I'm following one right now. Yeah, but... Hmm. Uh, don't think I can convince him with words. Did you bring a cell phone at least? Uh -huh. Okay, I'll leave then. Sorry for bothering you. I leave Yoshino behind and return to tracking the beast. What was that? Wasn't the sound of my steps. Stop and strain my ears. Might have been a beast. Anxiety begins welling up within my heart. I'm following a potential monster, and I haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do if I actually find it. Better come up with a plan. First off, the fight. No, no, I need pictures. Getting proof is paramount here. Oh, fetch me. Again, what the heck is going on? Can't fight after that. No, wait, what am I saying? It'd be bad if I accidentally killed a rare species of animal. Nothing good would come out of fighting it. I'll run if it attacks me. I'll only fight if there's no other choice. I have to focus all of my attention on escaping if possible. Besides, how can a human like me fight a 10 meter long snake? The normally constrict and strangle their prey. It'd probably break my neck in a single motion. And crush my internal organs while it's at it. Probably wouldn't even be able to throw a punch from that position. Wish I had a magic sword or something. Or maybe a gun. <laughs> a GUN! It's right beside me! A duck. I need to be ready for springing to action at any moment. I focus all my senses toward where I hear the sound. The leaves are moving ever so slightly. I relax. There's something moving underneath them, but it's too small. I can't even see its body. Most likely a large, uh, kind of small animal. Jeez, don't scare me like that. A rat, squirrel, or a cat? Hmm, <laughs> small fry. I'm gonna give it a scare for wasting my time. I wait for it and... Got you! Stretch out my right arm and grab hold of the animal and some leaves. Squirm, squirm. Looks kind of worm like, but it's 50 centimeters long. Furiously squirms in my hands, like, it's obser like I'm observing this from the outside of my body. A giant worm in my hand, squirming, slimy, slimy, slimy. Gah! Disgusting, gross! Wiggling all over the place. Why is it so long? Brown! Body's so squishy in my hands! Gross! Ah! I throw it into the distance. A delayed shiver runs down my spine as I begin trembling. 
Just barely brush my right hand against the ground. Truthfully, all, all I want is to brush the sensation of having touched that out of my mind altogether. Why was it so huge? What the heck? It was like a snake. Impossible. It's like something out of a nightmare. I totally lost my mind if a leech, caterpillar, or centipede that size suddenly attacked me. I want to go home. My motivation has been instantaneously crushed like a grape. Ouch. The hand I'm rubbing against the ground kind of hurts. There's a small scratch right below my wrist. Drip. Ah, uh, it's nothing but a scratch. It's bleeding. Huh? Why? When? There's a big hole in it. About five millimeters wide. A wound that you don't normally see. It's starting to overflow with blood. Uh-oh. This place is so far removed from normal life that it's not even funny. I try holding it closed with my fingers. Did I snag it on a twig on the ground? I check below my feet, but there's nothing that could have done it. Was it the worm? Can they bite? That quite a mysterious wound. That's terrifying. The bleeding won't stop. Thought blood was supposed to clot when exposed to outside air, but it's not showing any signs of slowing down. I prep it with some gauze and wrap with a bandage. Good thing I came prepared. Yeah, freaking good. It, it, if that thing was a giant like leech or something, that would actually kind of make sense that it would bite and it wouldn't clot because that's like they have an anti-clotting like like component to their spit. It's bleeding through the bandage, though, so I end up having to change it repeatedly while continuing my adventure. You continued? You didn't go home? I glance at the clock. 3 p.m. I'm not sure what to do. My adventure started early this morning. I took a bunch of breaks and didn't exactly follow a straight path, so getting back won't take too long, but it'll still probably take at least a few hours. I really don't want to do that in the dark, either. I might get lost even with Mappy. After all, with no city lights, this place will be as dark as a cave. Looks like I need to turn back. I wasted an entire Sunday on this. That's frustrating. After some thought, I decided to continue another 10 minutes before turning back. And then 10 became 20, and 20 became an hour. Getting harder and harder to make out the giant snake's trail. Partly because of the increase in leaves and fallen trees covering the ground, and also because the terrain is generally rougher. Guess it's about time. 10 minutes pass. And it's unfortunate, but I have no choice but to turn back. Suddenly, Ugh. Terrible smell blasts my nose like a cannon. What the heck is that? Lead? Discar discom uh, discomforting acidic scent. It's like something made of iron was abandoned and left to decay in here. It's coming from over there. The trail leads right to it. Decided to explore a little bit further. What the fetch are we finding? Found it. This is... A weird object is lying on the ground. It has the shape of a huge snake. However, it's not moving. It's about 10 meters long. Holy crap! 30 centimeters wide. It doesn't have a head. Instead, it's em ending in a lump like a colossal umbrella. Closed umbrella. Tail side looks exactly the same. If this is an animal. It doesn't expose any of its sensory organs to the outside. What the? Why? I'm not clicking the right the right stick. It, this game is weird. Like an annelid. Like a worm. It's emanating a white stream that seems to be the source of the smell. But a spec uh, spectacular chemical reaction. Is it rotting? This thing is a lot isn't alive. Its formerly organic body must have been in the middle of an extra quick decomposition. Carefully touch it with the tip of my finger. Ow, hot! This its decomposition should be giving off an intense heat. It almost feels like I ran my finger through hot steam. That must be the water evaporating off. Take a picture. And a few more from other angles. I have no idea what this might be. Almost looks like a piece of dirt molded into the shape of a snake. Can't even tell if it's just an animal or not. Instead, I haven't heard anything like this happening to snakes after they died. It doesn't look like it's been lying here that long either. Is this even a snake? Looks nothing like a, like more than a mountain of hummus. Some land that's been forced up from the ground. A fallen tree. There's many possibilities. Sometimes even the most mysterious things can be explained by simple science. Humans always just lack knowledge. There's countless laws that we've yet to discover. Can't, I can't touch it when it's this hot, but I grab a twig and poke at it. I try pushing it further inside, too. The tip slides into the thing's body. Ugh! Drip. Some sort of fluid gushes from the area I poked. What was that? Brown. And it smells terrible. Strong, raw smell is almost enough to knock me out. <laughs> I almost puke all over. You don't run into these kinds of smells in real life. My nose is telling me to get as far away as possible. This mysterious animal that isn't a snake somehow died. Not much of an explanation, but that's all I have. 
What the fetch? That was disgusting. Oh. <laughs> she really never leaves this room. So, um, uh, starting to suspect that you're living here. But can a high school girl really fall for that? Fall that far? So you don't go to school, you just live at school. I don't like it either, but I doubt anyone does. Akane shows me a rare mischievous smile. I don't think that's the word I the conversation the where this conversation is going. It's painfully realistic, yet still mysterious at the same time. I went to the forest. Tell her about what happened earlier. I just felt like it today. That said, I found something interesting, and it wasn't all bad. It would be something that'd belong in the club if we all found it together. But since I found it myself, I can use it for an article for a part-time job. Let's see. Yeah, these pictures are looking pretty good, too. Here. I opened one of the pictures on my phone. I thought it was a snake, but gave up after that see after seeing its head. It's quite the scoop, don't you think? The Life magazine that connects you and your surroundings, Terra. I upload the data from my phone to the laptop. Then I start working on my article. Gotta make it sound amazing. Inspiration is washing over me. I did it! The article's done. I'm feeling confident I did a good job. I conclude that the origin of the creature is still unknown, but the magazine still is hard at, is still hard at work investigating. And send. I send it to the editor. I'll definitely get a kickback if they decide to use it. If not, I'll just post it on the blog. Rez? She's gone. Her computer's still on, though. That said, heavy users like her probably keep it on 24-7 anyway. Maybe she went to the bathroom? Huh? It's 11 p.m. already! Totally lost track of time. Darn, I better hurry home. Feels a bit awkward leaving without saying anything, but can't afford to wait for her. Goodbye. November 1st. That was a weird adventure. I invited Kotori to walk to school with me today. I know she's most likely exhausted from all her activities yesterday. She's been coming to school every day lately, though. I don't want her to lose momentum. Futons are lined up along the top of the Kanabe household's fe uh, fence drying in the sun. There's a Dakimakura of Kotori in the far right. No, wait, it's moving. Oh, is that you? <laughs> that seems pleasant. Ah, oh, that does sound nice. I'd rather not be hung out to dry, in a different sense of the term. Looks like she's practically using them as pajamas at this point. Ever thought of actually washing them? Not entirely true, but okay. Your ability to boldly say such cringy stuff with a straight face is what I love about you, Kotori. Aww. <laughs> you should just buy a whole bunch of identical clothes if you like them so much, like we all do. Kotori's eyes nearly pop out of her skull. <laughs> Everyone's doing that. For your information, it's not just us either, it's the entire world. It's popular right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> the place again? Well, I'd like to report my seed planting accomplishments. Behold! I sent Kotori a map of the areas I planted seeds and marked. Kotori widens her eyes as she confirms my results. How'd you like that? Taking down every single area possible with my own two hands. It's not wasted, it's making the place brighter. Hey, don't call it lowly when you're the one who signed me up. Don't say it. <laughs> you really think so? Aww. Hey there, old lady, how the hell do you think I am? You can't satisfy me with snacks? 
秘蔵のネタを放出してあげる。くらい What? You received clue. Bargain sale. This is. I'm sorry, but I can't take a look at this. Can, can I take a look at this real quick? I carefully read the entire thing. Kotsuli, this is information on Jasko bargain sale. Not a cult. You can see it. I'm going to eat 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 it. A halogen heater for 390 yen. That's like essentially like three or four dollars. I don't think I would ever trust a, a heater that's only three or four dollars. That doesn't even make sense. I'm sure they just misprinted、uh, 3,900 yen. I'm sorry, but I still have to throw this away. Cuddly groans. Don't, don't do that. Don't, don't say that and mean it. In that case, I'd love something lewd, of course. But I'm smart enough to know if I asked for that straight out loud, I'd be, that, I'd be calling down an ice age upon her current smile. I'm just deciding the best possible flavor within the permissible range. A win win kind of deal, if you will. Think for a bit before opening my mouth. <sighs> uh, excuse me, what? N- what? I'd like you to suck my finger. What? <laughs> And I say, just send upon Kotori's smile. What? Just for one minute. A minute? <laughs> yeah, I don't. N- nutty, related to a seed, right? You gave me some thought. Funny. You're taking this more seriously than you should. I can wash it later. I'll wash it before I had to, of course. It won't be dirty. Signs of disbelief are in all countries. She's like, wait a minute, are you serious? It's like a step below a kiss, right? I mean, I wouldn't be, would have been thrilled if you'd asked for, if I'd asked for a kiss. I mean, you wouldn't have been thrilled if I asked for a kiss. Didn't work hard for a peck on the cheek either. I want something more memorable. Such, I arrived at this conclusion. <laughs> なんかおかしいな。どっか引っかかるんだけど、私、何見落としてるんだろう。It is weird. You're not missing anything. It's very strange. You're not missing anything. I was looking for a good substitute, but there's nothing I could find out,、uh, I could find without a bit of a, log- of a leap in logic. Honestly, if someone asked whether or not I would feel great or not, I wouldn't really be able to answer them with a conviction. I mean, it's just a finger, right? Well, just doing this for self satisfaction in a sense. <laughs> just fetch me, man. It's not that bad, is it? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> What am I witnessing? What a twisted grin inside, with a twisted grin inside, hidden in my heart. I use a garden hose to wash my hands. Alright, it's all yours. <laughs> yes, there is. <laughs> You're just overthinking it. I prefer mouth to mouth, but I'll compensate for your sake. Trust me, Kotori.、Mm. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a normal kiss would be much more normal and much less weird. Like she could instinctively sense of darkness, I'm asking with my own pretty words. <laughs> But she's just barely, barely a, fe- a, a femi fe- fe- well, a femi fatal. So she can't convi- con- conscientiously figure out its true form. <laughs> Why? Cut her these forward and wraps her lips around my ears. Okay. 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 I'm feeling weird by association. The sensation disperses along my entire body. I bet. Oh. And for the next 60 seconds, I'm guided to the pinnacle of pleasure. Who is my? Cut her, he jerks away as soon as the minute passes. I can even enjoy this alive on my finger another perverted way. She drags me to the hose and washes my hands off. Duh. That felt way more intimate than an indirect kiss. She saw right through me. I like Kotori. I don't think I like Kotori. <laughs> Darn. Acting disappointed, I wallow in satisfaction within my heart. <laughs> Go to me, regards my face, and I'm able to shake the feeling of something being off. Say it with flowers clear. So that was the reward I got for planting everything. Anyway, get dressed, let's head to school. Hi. Well, barely making time for first period since she still needs to change. Anyway. What was that? <laughs> This game? <laughs> This. What was that? <laughs> I swear, I don't know how to interpret half the stuff that happens in this series. After school, 
My phone rings at the perfect time, almost like someone's watching me leave through the gates. I'm sure someone is. The life magazine that connects you and your surroundings. You flatter me. Uh oh. A trial? Oh, blah, 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 blah. I suffer a medium level shock. The reason for that being? The uh. あ、出版って割とこういう世界でね。特にこれという理由がなくても偉い人の機嫌一つでみたいな。まあ、なかなかピンとこない話かもしれないけど。さあ、Thank you very much. Well, that's annoying. In that case, I'll accept it as bad luck this time. Is that okay if I use the article for my school's blog? <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, I won't. And I'm not upset. I'll do better next time. I hang up. Well, I was going to head straight home and spend the rest of the day enjoying indoor pleasures, but... I end up going to the club room. Oh my gosh, what the fetch! What is this?! Who makes clothes like that? <laughs> oh, I ran into a suggestive scene right off the bat. Looks like she's doing something with her computer. Holy fetch, that must be almost melting. I kind of remember to herself as she stares at the screen. Doesn't look like she's noticed my presence at all. For this angle, I might. The sight of her exposed pale legs blinds me. But that's all. If I were just five centimeters shorter, I probably could have witnessed the cloth, the cloth sought by hundreds of thousands of young boys in this country. <sighs> what is this? Dang. Well, my pride won't allow me to lower myself to take a look, or rather, intentionally peeping is against the law or something like that. Hooray, you shall be rewarded. <laughs> Wait, is he praying? Is he like, you pray? Like, you bow a little bit? <laughs> uh... No. More of a gentleman than I thought. As for what Akane's been mesmerized with, he's actually bought even more hardware for your monster rig. There's a box of graphics card and a manual thrown on the desk. There are people in this world who actually buy computer parts and build their rigs themselves. <sighs> I need to learn how to do that. I really just need to, I need to get over my primal fear that I'm gonna absolutely destroy my machine by messing with it in any way. Like, I'd rather pay someone because I just don't want to mess with it and take that risk. I should, I really should. It saved me a lot of trouble. And I'd learn a lot and I'd be really cool to, it'd be really cool to be able to do it, but I'm terrified. Akane seems to be the one, I guess. The so-called graphics cards are particularly expensive, but it's nice to have so much money. I have to write more articles to finally get something out of for my job too. But my laptop's gone for its usual place. Flying next to Akane's monster rig. あかねまん。次に人を猫型呼ばわりしたら、グラボで焼いた目玉焼きを口に突っ込むわよ。I Overclocking means pushing beyond those limits by fiddling with them in various ways. And the harder they work, the hotter they become. Normal people use fans and water cooling to counter that, but some high-enders use uh, users decide it wasn't enough to switch to something extreme. Akane is one of them. Nitrogen cooling. That can't be safe. I was thinking of using my job's article for the blog. So, uh, wanted to use the laptop and stuff. 
あとにして。デスクトップを分解している間、ネットを利用するのに使っているの。ああ、yes, because you never can be unplugged. You know, you know what the sad thing is? Akane would absolutely be in the crypto, but not in the crypto bro way. She'd be in the crypto in the sense that she would be the one who did the rug pulling. <laughs> she would come up with the idea, making like, like random like, NFTs or something, and then like, absolutely just running away with the money in an untraceable way. Then could you maybe upload the article real quick? Why? Huh? I thought you didn't care about the club. That's so mean. What? 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 Woman appears in the doorway. She's wearing a suit and looks quite serious. I've seen her around school before. Akane removes the graphics card and hands it to the woman along with his box and manual. 最低落札価格は8万以下にはしないこと。Okay. はい。That's so expensive. The woman takes the parts, gives me a small bow, and disappears through the doorway. She's quite the beauty from up close. My pubes and urges are going crazy. I thought she was teaching here. 教員免許は持っていたはずだから間違いではないわね。本職は私の秘書よ。Okay. Secretary? Person employed by an individual or in an office to assist with important tasks. Was that an important task? Buying parts for your computer in an internet auction. I kind of doubt you save more on those auctions than the secretary's salary. I feel our society could make use of some wealth redistribution right about now. I agree! <laughs> How can they pull out a big envelope from the stack of a desk? The ones underneath fall into chaos, but it doesn't look like she cares. Inside are a bunch of papers. How do you know that? What's that? Chalfetch me. Don't investigate me without permission. I mean, she's got a point. A, investigations wouldn't be very effective if you did them, you know, openly. And secondly, she's just hedging her bets. You're just having other people do your work for you. I can't believe you actually looked up my families and everything. In what world is going that far excusable? You know, that's not what I'm talking about. She's right. So,、uh, how far did you make them go? Uh-oh. As in. No way. Fetch me. Uh, it was. She's seriously investigating me. No, it wasn't you, was it? I heard it was some higher up's decision. So, that's why some of the kids are not going to be able to do it. Kazamatsuri Kyodai Seibutsukun. Ah, I've seen that one. I've seen that on Netorora. Netorora. Aside from rumors and urban myths on the internet. This is the case of the Toshi Densetsu. The Toshi Densetsu is a very good thing. The Toshi Densetsu is a very good thing. The Toshi Densetsu. 狂人、巨大昆虫。自然に囲まれているとはいえ、一つの都市が抱えるにはあまりにも多すぎる。I mean, we did see that. I've heard it's a place to go if you're into tracking giant animals, yeah? 巨大生物の死体ネタはね、とてもありふれているのよ。あ、uh... あ。過去に何度か同様の騒ぎがあり、どれも確たる結論が出ぬまま終わってしまったため、その手の記事はご法度とされているわけね。Uh, I kind of get that. But I really saw it. After I left? Eh? Just what kind of detective agency is she using? So we agree there's a dead body there then. Akane scatters a bunch of pictures on the desk. They're all apparently the same giant snake I found in the forest yesterday. This is. White steam rising from the carcass when I discovered it, but it's definitely still remaining in the shape of the animal at the time. However, there's nothing left there except some sort of goo. 
。つまり、性切開だそうよ。Weird. Huh? 性切開は、水分と混和すると発熱する。お前が見たこれは、性切開の塊なのではないかしら No, wait, that doesn't make sense. I heard about sightings of a big snake and I followed this trail and found it. お前が大蛇探しをしている前後、森林部に不審な二人組の男が出入りしているのが目撃されているわ。One was Yoshino. お前はその二人組の移動した後を追跡していた可能性が高い。For a moment I'm confused. I slowly digest the information she's providing me. Are you saying that the trail was actually two dudes pulling something into the forest? おそらく、市内に限定して、ここ最近の性切開の売買記録を確かめさせたわ。するとある農家が何ヶ月か前に大量の性切開を購入していたことが分かった。But why? 目的は土壌改良。Hmm. ところが発注ミスによって本来必要とされた量より多くの切開が搬入されてしまい。I have no words. I already know where this is heading. Illegal dumping. ご名答。ちなみに、この風祭り市では、土壌改良剤の大量処理は有料。Ah, okay. 処理に困った農家が、明け方に石灰を森に運搬したという線が、極めて濃厚だわ。But, he ran into an issue because when he drug it through the stream, it started to react, and that's why it became so hot, and thus they had to drop it. ソリのようなものに積んで、引きずっていったのでしょうね。And that left a trail like a giant snake. 途中に埋めたところまでは良かったが、水分が侵入してしまったことで、袋が傍慢。爆発するなどして、氷土と混ざり、半個経過した。白煙を上げながら、高熱を発する。巨大な茶色い塊の出来上がりね。Right. That makes perfect sense. Ah,、uh, that would drag the substance. Why would they drag the substance that reacts with water through a stream? That's kind of weird. 運搬人が無知だったか。認識が甘かったのか、あるいは見間違いか。I don't know. Feels a bit forced to me. 現実なんだから、意外とこういうものでしょ。They pulled something that reacts with water through literal stream with for a few dozen meters. 危険な行動だとは思うけど、最初から水中に落とすつもりなわけじゃないでしょうし。水路なら、移動の手間は軽減できるし、人目につかずに街中を横断できる。Ah, so they're trying to keep from getting caught. Darn, now Arthur really starts. It really is out of holes for me to criticize. よくよく注意して調べていけば、付近に足跡を見つけることはできたはずよ。歩いた後に重量物を満載したソリが通るのだから、そのほとんどは書き消えていたはずだけれど。Huh, that's fine, I yield. この一件、なかなか楽しめたわ。I guess it was dumb for me to believe I could find an unidentified giant animal within the vicinity of my house. That's the territory of science, no matter how I look at it. I have no way of responding to a meticulous explanation like that. Ah,、uh, I have an idea. I could turn this entire story into an article instead. There's no rule I have to make it out about the existence of an unidentified giant animal. s Science may have won, but it's still an interesting story in itself. Even Akane said she had fun with it. Let's do that! どうしたの、uh, Not really. Akane's been tinkering with her rig all throughout the conversation. It shouldn't be much longer since she's only replacing her old graphics card in its original spot. これでいいわ。天王寺、ノートを持っていてもいいわよ。Thanks. I spent about an hour rewriting my article. After revisiting it, I actually feel like it's even clearer. The, end- the-, the ending is less mysterious, too. I sent off to Terra's editorial department again. My phone rings up after a few minutes. Sayo! Hurrah! I learned from the best. Bye to the way, I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I steal a glass of Akane. She seems completely occupied with her watching over the machine as it boots up. I lower my voice to whisper. It's possible. Ja, hey, she's going to go to the next one. トップライで用意しておくよ。I'll be there right away. Yeah, hoo hoo, I'm rich. And I think that's where we're gonna end for today. I'm guessing something's gonna happen, but what a, what a, what a weird episode. What a weird episode. Like, it was good, but what the fetch? <laughs> the finger, and then the weird 
the, the pose of the dress that just doesn't even barely function as a dress, it seems. I mean, I, maybe it does, but just it seems super... What's the word? Contrived? Hey. Whatever. Still very interesting. No clue what's going on still as of yet. But it's enjoyable to see that they're actually making progress. I'm also like... It felt like up until now, he's kind of like not been even like thinking about his part time job. So it's kind of nice seeing him actually like going through with it and being able to like actually you know, turn in an article and make some money. That's pretty impressive. Very excited to see that. So, yeah, we'll have to see how things play out from here. I'm not sure exactly what we can expect. I mean, I know we're still waiting for the Harvest Festival, but I can't remember if it told us what day it was supposed to happen or not. I honestly thought it was supposed to happen towards the end of October. But I feel like we would have been told about it happening because it's been such a big kind of a, it's a bit, it's just something we've been building to. So I don't know. We've still got more time on thinking. All right. Well, I guess anything you guys want to say or any thoughts you have about this very interesting, very interesting episode. Kotaru, I don't know, man. I understand wanting to get something kind of fun and unique from Kotori as a favor, but that was an interesting choice. And interesting might be putting it. charitably but yeah oh well hope you all enjoyed this episode i certainly enjoyed making it look forward to be able to continue to make more in the coming weeks so hopefully you'll, you'll stick around and be able to watch that and then if you want more to watch and you just can't and you're not and you've got time on your hands there's a great backlog of great videos and like series that i've done that some of you may not have even heard of so i actually invite you to check it out i've done a lot of uh smaller uh titles made by smaller or newer developers that might be worth seeing um, I've talked about Seabed before, but another good one would be Mamiya. Mamiya is a really interesting, dramatic one. Um, like, if you like, like, mystique and psychology, it has a little bit of psychological horror in it, but mostly I think it's just psychology, where it really examines, like, what makes people tick, and why they behave the way they do. Uh, but it's also got a lot of, it's got, like, a touch of the supernatural, but in, like, a really thematic way that I've never seen before so really highly recommend it but anyway hope there's plenty for me to watch and enjoy because I want to make content that helps you know expand your horizons and helps us all share good stories together so I hope you enjoy it and until next video watching me I'll see me next I'll see you there